Thank you, Allie. Well, this morning, the man accused of causing a horrific crash in Raleigh is due to make his first court appearance. Police tell us three people were killed when Asiel Espino Montes crashed an SUV over the weekend. CBS North Carolina's Justin Quinsenberry joins us live from the Wake County Justice Center with more on the charges he now faces. Justin. Russ, police in Raleigh tell us that just one vehicle was involved in this crash. Inside, there were seven people, including that driver. Here's a mugshot of him after that crash. We're talking about 22-year-old Yasel Espino Montez of Goldsboro. Police say he was intoxicated and driving on Highwoods Boulevard in Raleigh with six other people when he overcorrected and struck a light pole, street sign, and tree before rolling that SUV. This happened at the intersection with Poplar Wood Court near Capitol. Capitol Boulevard. Espino Montez faces three counts of aggravated felony death by motor vehicle, three counts of aggravated serious injury by motor vehicle, and DWI charges. The victims are 21-year-old Nelson Velasquez of Dudley, 18-year-old Thomas Rivera Jr. of Newton Grove, and 22-year-old Paul Batista of Benson. At last check, the suspect remains in jail on a $750,000 bond. Ahead in our next half hour, hear, hear details about that crash and just how fast police say he was going. Live in Raleigh, Justin Quisenberry, CBS North Carolina.